Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your boy Jay Brown. Welcome to the Wrestling Fray and welcome back to another episode of Belting It Out. And yes, it is real. We have reached over 100 subscribers and we did it in less than a year. Yeah, I know some people can do it in a month, but I don't care. We finally got here. And yeah, I let Jimmy do the uh, thing. I even printed him our little plaque. I'm going to sit up here. I'm going to put it somewhere else, but don't worry. Okay, so this is what's going on today or tonight. Um, I am making a four-part series. I am going through my entire belt collection. I'm going to tell you what belt I have, you know, what I like about it, and if anything, what changes I'm going to make to the belt. The reason why I'm doing a four-part series is because I am not gonna sit here and make a 45 minute video for a few people to watch. Plus, I actually want all of you to see my collection because it might be a title that you're interested in, you know? And you know, I don't wanna have to chapter each thing and be like, oh, we're just gonna watch this one. We're just gonna watch that one, which isn't a bad idea. Why am I talking so much? Anyway, before we start with this, Gotta have my belt gloves. Good way not to get fingerprints on. All right. Now guys, I will be going in order in which I have received each belt. Now, the first one is my favorite belt of all time, the big gold belt. Of course, this one was by Fandu. I fell in love with it instantly. Uh, yes, um, I got the video showing somewhere on the screen of when I actually unboxed this. Yes, um, like I said, this was all around beautiful when I first got it. This started everything. And might I add, I started this collection, I think April or May of 2020, and it's only January of 2021. And I have all these, but this, this was the first one right here, and it is still my favorite. And what Anything I would have done different to it, only thing I can think of right now, um, I just need to have it re-leathered. But other than that, it's perfect. It has my name on it, um, and it sits on the wall, looking as beautiful as it ever could. But yes, uh, for this one, I would just need it re-leathered, and that's it. That's the only change I would make to uh, this bad boy right here. All right, following in the order of the belts that I have received, my second ever belt, another fan new belt, was the copper. Now, uh, I meant to tell you a story about that other belt. Um, when I first got that and I saw there was like four or five different versions of the big gold, I was like, man, I'm getting all of those. Except the gun metal. I'm not sold on that. Now, copper, I mean, the... Uh, Second one I wanted was a silver, which I haven't even got the silver yet, but I will. Uh, so I decided to go for the copper because the copper, unlike the other ones, the copper actually said limited edition. So I decided to get copper on blue jewels uh, with the red strap. I was a little iffy on if I should get a red strap, but I know I wanted to save the brown strap for uh, the dual gold. Uh, Cause at some point in time I knew I was gonna get it, so I decided to go with red. And uh, you know, a lot of people didn't care for the red, but I don't mind it. Anything I would change with this one uh, would be the same thing with the original Big Gold. I'll just get it re-leathered. That's about it. So um, like I said, Fandu has a simulated leather. Now hanging on the wall, it's fine actually, but you know, there's nothing like having the real leather because um that way plates won't be flopping everywhere but like i said it hangs on the wall i can uh hold it up there and these things i really can't wear them either because of how this belt is though i rarely wear, wear my belts but yeah i will get this one re-leathered now only thing about re-leathering this one um i think i want to keep it red but if i do get re-leathered I'll probably go with like, maybe like a dark blood red. I think that, that'll be uh, real nice. So that's the only uh, thing different 
how we do with this bad boy. But yeah, I, I love this bad boy too, man. And once again, we are sticking with the theme of going through each belt that I got in order. Now, before I got this belt, I won my first belt raffle at FanDu, actually, uh, back when they had raffles. They don't have them anymore. I wish they'd bring them back. Anyway, so um, that belt, um, I'm actually uh, kind of showing a brief snippet of that video i gave that belt to my brother that's still his first and only belt <laughs> but um he, he he enjoyed it very much so anyway so on to my third belt this is the 10 pounds of gold now this is my first my first belt made from an independent belt maker and is uh, as far as independent belt makers this is the only belt maker I've dealt with so far, uh, Mr. Muhammad Lukin, Lukeman, sorry, he is uh, by far my favorite. N not only does he make quality belts, uh, this dude, he's very caring about his customers. Like he'll ask, how you doing? He'll keep you updated on all the work. And uh, he's just an all around good dude. So, you know, you don't get that too much in, in that hobby. Sometimes dudes just want to spam your inbox and all that. No, he, he'll come to you casually, you know, be like, you want something made? He's not just going to do all that. So, yes, Muhammad, I appreciate that. Anyway, yes, so I got the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Now, being that this was my first belt uh, other than FanDu that I bought, you know, just wanted to test the wires a little bit. So... Unlike uh, a lot of my other belts, this particular belt is in brass. Because um, being now shelling out money to independent um, maker. And brass is cheaper than zinc. And as you know, this is not as shiny as zinc. When this uh, is on the wall, of course, you really can't tell. This, this belt is still beautiful. And uh, even till this day. I feel like this belt has the best leather work out of um, all my belts and, and it's probably because of this braided strap that I absolutely love. Now, uh, now originally I would say the only difference I would have done with this belt, uh, originally it did not have the jewels up here. I went on ahead and I gel tacked those up there myself. So I already made the change I'm going to make. So. No, no, no changes on this belt at all, honestly. Now, I'm gonna keep this belt, but I probably am going to eventually get a zinc version of such, just to have that. Cause um, I have, I felt like I have graduated from the brass, but I mean, this is still, this is just a beautiful belt all around. I know a lot of people don't care for the 10 pounds of gold because it's small, but when you think of the history behind this, you know, you can't help but to uh, appreciate that. But yes, uh, my first belt from Muhammad Lukeman. And uh, as we go through the series, you will notice it will not be my last. And my next belt was the WWE Championship. I absolutely love this. And the reason I love it, I went to WrestleMania with my brother in 2019. And Kofi Kingston won this title at WrestleMania this year. And as you see, I got the Kofi Kingston side place on it because uh, I've always been a fan of Kofi. I know a lot of people are like, well, they're all hyped up with Kofi, man. I was a fan of Kofi from day one. And you know, when he won't go, I, I realized, or I didn't think he would ever be world champion. I was content with that, but I was always a fan of Kofi and I always, uh, had hope so it was like something very special to me and honestly this is the only reason i would have this type of belt because uh as you see from the rest of my collection i'm more of a traditional belt type person so because of that alone uh belts like this don't necessarily do it for me Though I do love this one. Like I said, it's, it's pretty much the significance of such, but 
Um, really, when, when I got this, when you look at it, it is like beautiful just to have it, you know? Now this particular belt, it came from Powerball Championships. Uh, this was my second ever uh, belt raffle that I won. And um, so I won this one and I got the WWE Championship. Uh, I, I bought the Kofi plates separate and uh, I actually did a video where I put them on. So, um, so I, I would say this is kind of special. Um, uh, changes to this belt, definitely the leather. Um, one thing about WWE shop, their leather. Notice when leather is this stiff, put it over the shoulder, that's still up. So yeah, that will probably be the only change I would make to this particular um, belt right here. Uh, but I still love it. Still one of my favorite belts. I will say that. But yeah, that's that's the only change I'll make on this one is the um the leather. I know a lot of people like to change to the thick bars. Um mm, I'm not worried about all that because like I said, I'm more of a traditional belt person. So this is a little different for me. But yeah. That's my change right there. So that is part one of my belt collection. Uh, I will bring part two to very, very soon. Uh, you've seen my first four belts. Uh, you'll see my next four on the next episode. Thanks for tuning in to Belting It Out. Once again, thank you guys for uh, 100 plus subscribers. See y'all next time. See